Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we're going to learn about objects in JavaScript. Now objects are similar to arrays in that they're collections of data, however arrays are organized in sequential order. So for example if you have an array, my array equals, and then you have the data inside, one, two, three, that data is arranged in order and you access it by its index, like my array zero. Objects, on the other hand, are key value pairs. Key value pairs. That's how they're set up. Objects do not have a given order. Everything just kind of floats around in a blob and none of it's in any specific order, first or second. They just have key value pairs. So why would we use objects when we already have arrays to collect our data for it? Well, generally speaking, it's whenever we want to model something that has data that's not in a logical order. To give you an example, let's talk about a truck. Const truck. If we wanted to, we can make an array, that's a truck, and it's a Chevy, Silverado, um, 2015, um, color would be silver, does it have power windows, so yes, power windows, and I don't know, no Bluetooth, something like that. So now we have truck, and all of our data is in there, but it's it's not really easy to access in a meaningful way. So let's say that later on in my program I wanted to know what year the truck was. I'd have to go truck two. Well, truck two doesn't tell me anything. It'd be much easier if I could say something like truck year. Kind of like we do with console.log or like array.length or something like that. It'd be a lot easier for you to do something like that. Fortunately, there is a better way to do it. It's called objects. So we're gonna do const my truck because I can't use truck again because it was a constant, equals curly brackets. And inside of there, we put our key value pairs. So you might put make equals Chevy. And you put a comma after each one. Model Silverado year 2015. And you'll notice this; these data types can be anything we want them to be. Color, silver, so you see we, right now we have strings and numbers, but we're all, we can also have booleans. Power windows, true, Bluetooth, false. So now we have the second item, my truck, which makes a lot more sense. Because if we just call truck, yeah, the information is there, but it's hard to access. It's difficult to understand when we're calling it programmatically. However, my truck makes perfect sense. It's an object, has a key and a value pair. So if we wanted the color of that truck, my truck dot color, my truck dot make, you can access all of those things with dot notation is what that's called. It's where you put the object name dot whatever the um, key is, and then it'll return the value. It'll give you back that value. The other way you can access those is through bracket notation. My truck make. And it'll give it to you. Notice that if you do it this way, you have to put it in quotes and you have to spell the whole thing out. Almost everyone uses dot notation in JavaScript whenever possible. There are a few times you can't use dot notation. For example, if, if your key starts with a number. So if I had my truck dot first owner, it wouldn't work because it just doesn't work the way JavaScript works. We would have to do the brackets, first owner. And we could do that if we added that property. Another reason you wouldn't be able to do to use dot notation is if there's a space in your value. So first owner could work like that. But if you try to do dot, it'll try and look for my truck dot first and it, this, it'll throw an error when it can't find it. But even if it did find it, it would throw an error on this next word because it treats it as two separate things. The other time you wouldn't be able to use dot notation is if you are using a variable for your key. So for example, if I said let, let my var equal color, and I wanted to get my truck, I hope I could spell, dot my var. So if I wanted to use the value of my var to go through the keys, that's not going to work because there's no my var key. However, I can do that. And it works fine. So if you ever need to access the keys based on a variable programmatically, then you have to use the bracket notation. Every other time, 
it's going to be much faster just to use dot notation and that's what you're going to see all the time. In order to add new values, new key value pairs to an object, simply call it and then assign it a value. So my truck dot owner equals Josh. So now if I call my truck, you can see that it has that new key value pair. And you'll notice these are not in order. Every time you call this, they'll usually be in the same order, but not always. Whenever you add a new one, you never know where it's going to be on here. Now the console automatically puts them in alphabetical order, but that's just something the console does. That's not something that JavaScript does. That's not in the JavaScript world. So objects are not in any type of an order. So in this video, we talked about objects. We learned about what they are and when we would use them. Generally speaking, use them whenever you have groups of data that does not fit a certain order. Whenever you have key value pair type things, for example, a truck or a person or a friend or a dog or, or an item, generally speaking, that has different properties, you would use an object. We talked about how you can access all of the key value pairs on those using dot notation. So my truck dot color would return silver, or you can use my truck and then use the bracket notation. If you use the bracket notation, you have to put your key in quotes. And generally speaking, you're not going to use this unless you have a very valid reason to do so, such as your keys starting with a number, so if first color or something like that, or if there's a space in them. Generally, like I said, you're not going to see this. Almost nobody does this because it's much easier just to use camel case and spell out first color. It's much easier and faster to do it that way so that you don't have to use this bracket notation. Please don't use spaces or start your keys with numbers. Anybody who has to look at your code or use your code will hate you forever. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.